You want to say hi to everybody? Say hello, Adventures with Dano crew. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Today, we are here at the Cincinnati Zoo. Number one zoo in the country. Should be a lot of fun. I'm gonna go around, check out some of our furry friends. Maybe get something to eat, huh? Yeah, man. So as you come into the Cincinnati Zoo here, you have this huge escalator right here that takes you up the mountain, which is nice. You don't have to walk up a bunch of steps. What do you think? It's great. It is hot, guys. It is it's not too bad. But... Yeah, it's there's a little bit of. We're supposed to get some rain, so I got my uh, umbrella in the back here. So, whoop, there's my water. But yeah, if you're coming to the zoo here uh, in end of July, August, it gets very hot here in Cincinnati, very humid. So, make sure you're prepared. So, I did want to point out. That if you come into the zoo here, we're going to try and point out where all the different air conditioning stands are here at the zoo shop. Good air conditioning in there. And as you can see, we are right past the front gate here. So if you get up here, Jess, Jess just waved, but she doesn't realize I'm using the, the front facing camera here. There she is. You got the right shirt on. It's like the animal kingdom. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> so what do you want to do first? I'll tell you what, I don't, I'm expecting a lot of the animals to be asleep right now. Usually they're sleeping when it's this hot out, but we'll see. I think first we're going to go check out the kangaroos and then there's a little uh, penguin exhibit there. So we're going to, that's one of my favorites. Yeah. Trying to keep you in focus there. Sorry, I was going to go to the bathroom and I didn't know oh. we ever stop. So well, let's, could. let's turn around. The bathroom's that way. While Jessica's stopping off to use the restroom there, I wanted to point out they do face painting here. You got your kiddos right over here. They do the face painting and here's the front entrance. A lot of stuff right up here at the front entrance, which is pretty nice, especially on a hot day like this. It is waterproof. So if you sweat a lot like I do, it should be good. Uh, and they're really quick with this. I know our nieces and nephews have done this before. All kinds of different little animals you can get your face painted. The one thing I don't like is they don't do maps here anymore. Uh, they do have these scattered throughout the park. As you can see, it's a huge zoo here. When you get back in here, you go down some pretty big hills. So keep that in mind uh, if you don't feel like doing a lot of uh, hill climbing. They do have a QR code here you can scan and you can bring the map up on your phone, which I do have, but they have these pretty much everywhere. So it's pretty, pretty easy if you know how to read a map. I told Jess that I was gonna do my best not to sound like a narrator through the zoo here today or a tour guide. I just can't help it. I used to, this is what I first started doing when we started the channel here. I was doing a lot of explanations, a lot of history uh, and stuff like that, but it's just gonna be like a fun vlog here. We're just gonna walk around, chat, hang out with you guys in this 91 degree weather. It is hot as you can possibly imagine. Don't know how long we're gonna be here today, but we're definitely gonna check out the kangaroos, the penguins like to see the elephants, maybe the lions and tigers, but they will be asleep uh, when it gets this hot out during the day. They're pretty much snoozing. If you want a, a great day to come to the Cincinnati Zoo, you want to come when it's going to be a little cooler, get here really early, like as soon as they open, and that's your best chance to see the lions and tigers at least. Cincinnati Zoo is also known for its botanical garden. Uh, they spend a lot of time, uh-oh, uh-oh, somebody's upset. They spend a lot of time uh, situating a lot of different types of flowers here, which are just gorgeous. These are the Dahlia Mega Boom Berry Blast flowers here. Look at that. Wouldn't you like to have some of these in your backyard? Okay, so we're about to go down in the valley here to check out some of the kangaroos in Rue Valley. We got the kangaroo walkabout, Little Blue Penguin area, which is my favorite. The Kanga Climb, which we'll point out, it's like a fun activity for children. I got the beer garden, which is over here. Okay, so as we come up on the kangaroo area here, they have this kanga climb, which is kind of one of them things where they like tie you off uh, and then you walk across these different things. It's pretty cool. Um, I guess, you know, you don't have to be a kid. I guess you can be an adult on this. Don't see anybody on here right now, but it does look like a fun little uh, obstacle course. So we have entered the kangaroo town. Oh, one's up there standing. 
Oh, wow, they're up close and personal today. You do have to stay on the uh, walk path here. Not allowed to go off in the grass. Well, look at that guy. Yeah. Hello. Uh, no, not really. So, okay, yeah, I do have a question. So what, uh, what keeps them from going onto the path? They Nothing? can go on the path if they want to. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, Ezard and Frazier really love going on the path, actually. Okay. Um, it's just too hot for them right now. Yeah. And they're trying to stay in the shade and the sand. The sand helps them keep cool. So, like, if they're on the path, can you pet them, or is it no, good? we give them space if they're on the path. Oh, okay. Awesome. Look like they're, looks like they're enjoying the shade. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, have a good day. Thank you. Look at this guy. So, I guess they can go on the path. And then I guess if they do, they come out. And uh, look at this. Happy little kangaroo. Actually, he's not little at all. He's huge. That is one big, one big kangaroo. Yeah, these guys are, oh, he's digging a little hole there. Hope he's not getting ready to charge. Hello, buddy. Wow. Yeah, never seen him this active before. He's the only one up and at him, though. All the other ones are pretty much snoozing. <laughs> Looks like he's ready. Looks like he's ready for some exercise. I don't know about this one. He looks like he's ready to, uh... I don't know. He looks like he's ready to go. Oh, no. He's chilling. He was just... Oh! He's digging him a little hole just to... Maybe just to cool off. Have a good day, Mr. Kangaroo. We'll call you Captain. So we've never actually seen them this close before. Usually they're back here in their yeah. little, like, home area. Pretty neat. Uh, I mean, they're really close. And I, I've never seen them this active either. I know that's... Never seen one this close. It's pretty awesome. Now we are about to enter the little blue penguin arena. Or whatever they like to call it. Oh, here's here's one in the water. Look at him go. Looks like they're trying to keep cool. A little, little bit of a, oh look. Oh wow, Let's zoom out here a little bit. There we go. These penguins are awesome. They fly in here like little darts. Go penguins, go. Off to the races. See if we can see one of them dive in here. Hello, little ones. I wish I could take you all home with me. I'm sure Jess does too. Nice breeze for it being 91 degrees out here. Very nice breeze. Oh, look at that. Hugging his little buddy there. I turn the camera off for a second and then like three or four of them dive in. Look at that one, doing a little, little back roll there. Nice waterfall we're gonna check out over here. Keeping the water moving. I think they're cute. They are very cute. I was telling everybody, I wish we could take all these home. Come they don't have to be in ice cold water. These are, uh, I think these are, are they the African penguins? I asked you. I'm not sure. They do have penguins that have to be in ice cold temperatures. They have those inside, which is in like a, a man built like cave area. Don't know if we're going to be able to check them out here today. Hello. Welcome to Adventures with Dano. Oh, they are very cute. Look, that one's looking right at you. Hello, sir. <laughs> Are you having fun today? Getting to see all these people. Look at these guys. Coming in like little penguin NASCARs. What, what, what were you saying? I said, what would happen if I tried to touch it? Yeah, that probably wouldn't be good. 
wants me to pet him. <laughs> he did come right up to the glass right next to you. <laughs> Aww, he said, go so ahead. Mean. Absolutely beautiful. The Cincinnati Zoo does a great job of creating a natural habitat for all of the animals here at the Cincinnati Zoo. Hello, buddy. Aren't you cool? This one just, this is the same one. He keeps coming over here to us. Or she, I don't really know. <laughs> you want to take him it's home? Cute. I wonder how much it would cost to have one. I'm sure it's probably illegal. What would, yeah. What would we do? We'd have to keep him in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah. Be nice to, I wonder how much something like this cost. A bazillion dollars. A bazillion dollars, guys. Bazillion. One bazillion. We're going to name this one Frank. You can't name everything Frank. <laughs> well, no, the bird that we named before, your bird, was uh, Fred. I thought it was Frank. Was it Frank? I don't know. They ended up moving Frank or Fred. It was, this bird loved Jess. It was behind glass, but she would put her finger on the glass, and he would literally go up and put his hand over her finger, and he'd like tilt his head like that, like he was smiling. That was the coolest bird ever, and they moved him. Uh, he's not here no more, so sad. If we thought maybe he was inside, or maybe they might, he might have been part of the like, you know, doing doing some rehab on maybe an injured wing or something, and then they send him they send him off because they do. They have great veterinarians here at the Cincinnati Zoo. Uh, and they bring animals from all over the world here to get help if they need it. Okay, so we found out they're the little blue penguins. And they're from uh, Southern Australia, did she yeah, say? Australia, Southern Australia, some, somewhere else New Zealand. New Zealand. And New Zealand. They are very warm weather penguins. That's why they're able to stay out here in this extreme heat. And uh, I'll tell you what, they're loving it. Yeah, they're I mean, so cute. Yeah, they are very cute. Okay, so if you wondered where they hid King Kong. This is it. Just kidding. This is the Andean condor. And he is hanging out up here. Jessica found him. He is just hanging out up there. Got that serious look about him. We have reached the big waterfall. Really gorgeous. And all this comes from the very top up here. Comes down the rocks. And as we turn, here is the little, little blue penguin area where they are loving life. And now we've reached the top of the waterfall. <laughs> as we go down here, that is where we were before. Little blue penguins hanging out chilling. I gotta say guys, this is so awesome. Everything they do here. I mean, it's just absolutely incredible. Got the waterfall behind us here. I could sleep right here. It's just, it's so peaceful. As we come out of the waterfall and kangaroo area, we've got the American bald eagle here. Right here, as soon as we come out of the kangaroo and penguin area, We've entered the American Bald Eagle area. This guy is so cool looking. Very majestic. Right here we've got the Gal Galapagos. Yes, Gal Boy, they are huge. They are. They're going to keep going too. You said he's 15 years old? Yeah. So our biggest one is that guy over there. His name's Bruno. He's about 175 pounds right now, but he's going to get up to 700. 700 pounds? Yeah. The oh my goodness. 700, the females will reach 400. Wow. They'll stop growing around the age of 40. That is crazy. We actually can't even tell who's a girl and who's a boy just yet. We still got to wait 10 more years. So we're just guessing right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like how they put all these waterfalls in around the, yeah. the park too. It's pretty they nice. They can't swim, but it does help them cool down. They like sure. to float. Oh, okay. They've got a layer of fat under the shell that just helps them bob along. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Thanks for the info, bud. You're very welcome. Have a good one. You too. So the one he was talking about was to the right of the waterfall here. I wanted to give you a little bit of a closer look. This guy's going to get up to 700 pounds. That's a big turtle. And over here we got the red pandas. Look like giant red raccoons. 
Pretty cool looking. Finding some shade. So now it is time for lunch. We are going to go into the Base Camp Cafe here. What's really nice about it is uh, they have a large variety of different foods and really good air conditioning. Some of the things they offer here at Base Camp Cafe, burgers, really good burgers. La Rosa's Pizza, which is a Cincinnati favorite. Chicken tenders, salads, beverages, and more. All right, guys, so we got an awesome treat here. They have a special going on. There's a picnic pack. Picnic pack, which includes brisket. Is that all brisket? I think this is brisket, and this is the pulled pork back here. Pulled pork there. And then it came with coleslaw oh. and potato salad. Coleslaw, and potato salad, and a muffin. corn muffin. Guys, this was $14.99. That's a lot of food. With our discount, we got it for $11.99 because we're an annual pass holder. And Jessica got this. Uh, it's cute. Yeah. It's a little kid's meal. Got the little mini corn dogs. We're going to split all of this. <laughs> this is a lot more food than I thought it was going to be. All right, so you guys are having lunch with us. Try that brisket. I can't believe how much they gave us. What's brisket? Do I like brisket? Beef brisket? Oh yeah, you should. You tried it that one time at Montgomery Inn. It smells fantastic. It smells mm -hmm. great. Loaded with barbecue sauce. Look at that. It's really good. Oh yeah. They're really good smoky flavor to it. Pretty delicious. That is fantastic. We've got so much food here, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Probably not the best kind of food to eat when you're walking around the theme park either, but... Sure it is. What you gonna do? Or, yeah. we're eating meat and looking at animals. Well, they don't have any cow. That was the pork, and that is delicious. It is delicious. Uh, this... Mm. No, that's beef. The pulled pork, I Oh, just the ate. pulled pork. Oh, okay. Dang. We got a ton of food here. Here's the uh, potato salad. What I like it is it oniony. No, no, you'll like it. I don't believe you. It does have a little bit of onion. I'm not a fan of onions. Let's see if I can fix this here a little bit. It is oniony, but it's not terrible. No, it ain't terrible. Push it back. For yeah, there we go. There it is. Yes, and we have a refillable souvenir mug. It is $1.99. I think they're $2.49 now, actually. $2.49, okay, so a little bit of a refill. But, we are sweating like crazy. It feels great in here, guys. When you're at a park like this, you want to make sure that you're getting to the air conditioning when you can. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this box was so cute. With kid's meal on it. I didn't get this the last time, this box. When I got a kid's meal. The coleslaw is not very good. I don't like coleslaw at all, so I will not be trying that. I don't taste any vinegar. Corn dog. There's no real, like, uh, mayonnaise or any coleslaw mm -hmm. sauce. <laughs> this potato sounds fantastic. I love corn dogs. Did I show the... Look how huge that muffin is. The cornbread is. Big piece of cornbread? I don't know. I'm sure they got butter. They didn't even give us any. Watch this. Oh. Yes. Whoa. It does, I don't think it needs butter. It's got butter in it. You want to try it? All right, now I'm going to try the pulled pork. We're not going to be able to eat all this. Mm. There's no way. This tastes like the outside of my corn dogs. Oh, does it? Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe they use the same mix. Here's the pulled pork. Look at that steaming. Look at that. Hot off the grill. That is amazing. Oh my goodness. Well, we might eat all this. The pork is better than the brisket. I mean, the money. For me. But I'm, I don't think I'm a big brisket person. Yeah, the pork is, the pork's a little better. Uh, but the brisket's good. Again, we are at the Base Camp Cafe. Uh, which is kind of in the middle of the park. We're trying not to do like the long hills today because it's so hot. Uh, there is spots in the zoo where you go down like mountainous hills. So if you got bad knees, I, I see people come well, here. It's also supposed to storm really bad. So we're kind of like not, don't want to get caught all the way down there when we have to hoof it all the way back if it starts storming. Right. So we're just kind of trying to stay up close to the front. 
but yeah, this is really yummy. Yeah, and this barbecue sauce is different. This is different than the, mm -hmm. the Heinz sauce that they have at the counter. Damn. This is a special, so I don't know if they have this all the time. It's just like a... Yeah, it's have Wednesday and Friday. Or Wednesday through Friday. It's good. Guys, this is amazing. What drink did you get? Uh, tea. Sweet tea? Mm -hmm. How's corn dog? Yummy. Can I try one? You only get six corn dogs, but I guess it's a kid's meal. It's so. a kid's meal, so uh, I'll try it with ketchup. Good old Heinz ketchup. You know Heinz ketchup has high fructose corn syrup. It does. Yeah. I know. We were talking about that the other day, or maybe I didn't tell you. Oh well. Some things you just gotta accept. <laughs> so apparently, Heinz makes a simply ketchup brand which doesn't have high fructose corn syrup. Okay. So we're gonna try that. I did buy three big things of it at Sam's Club though, so we're gonna go through it. I mean I feel like you're gonna have it and stuff. But I obviously I don't drink pop anymore, so that barbecue sauce is very spicy. It is. So I'm more cautious of it than like just by not drinking it because you're just literally just drinking corn syrup. Um, so it's probably, I mean, I'm sure it's not as good for you in ketchup either, but it's not like I'm drinking a 12 ounce can. Right, of, <laughs> right. You know, yeah, I'm just we cut out a lot of things. If you got something you love, you know. Oh, that's a good piece. That's brisket. I know. Show them that piece. I'm trying to get it on my fork. Looks like a piece of bacon. It does look like bacon. Isn't that basically what it is? Uh, no. Brisket's beef. Was that brisket or was that part of the pork? That was brisket. Pork would be bacon. I mean, I guess it kind of looks like beef bacon, huh? It is fantastic, guys. But we're going to try and finish eating here. So when we're done, we're going to move on, see what other animals we can see today. Before it rains, because it looks like it's going to. Ooh, that was a heavy lunch. <laughs> What'd you think of that? absolutely delicious guys it looks like that special is wednesday through friday don't know if it's every week don't know if they'll ever have it again but i'll tell you what that was fantastic anytime they do get that picnic platter you could probably split that with your entire family that is a meal and a half so they decided to lock jess up in a cage oh wait a minute wait a minute that's me in the cage with all the goats that's right Look at this little guy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a YouTuber. Not streaming right now, but Adventures with Dano, you should check it out. Hello. Hello. Hi. Adventures with Dano. Here, I got a card. You want to say hi to everybody? Say hello, Adventures with Dano crew. <laughs> Eating your grass? Boy's a good boy. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Hanging out with Eddie here. He is one happy goat. Looks, looks like he is well fed. <laughs> good boy. Hello, Lunar. How are you? You eating? I won't disturb you. I'll just give you a little scratch there. It's hot out here, ain't it? Hello. Hello. Oh, she's coming out. She's a big one. <laughs> That's a pretty name. Got ones back here, so you're not allowed to pass the rope, and you're not allowed to pet the ones that have collars on them. What's your name? Look at you. You got a little smile. Yeah. Right there is going to be Wilbur. Wilbur? That's Wilbur. Oh, that's Wilbur. Orville. Oh, you're such a cute little guy. Hello. How are you? How are you? Yeah, we found another one. Norman. Nor. He eats everything, huh? Yes. 
some happy goats. Well guys, that was our awesome trip to the zoo today. It's getting really hot out here, very muggy. Looks like it's about to storm pretty bad. Looking like it's gonna roll in here just in a few minutes. So we wanna get out of here before that happens. Guys, thank you so much for watching today. Hope you enjoyed our trip to the Cincinnati Zoo. We love this place. We'll be back, check out some new things. It was awesome to eat a bunch of food, pet some goats. That was really fun. Met Norman and a few of the goats there. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. With all that being said, we are out. And always remember, the adventure is, is out, out there. there.